All right, this will be the last video for the Sprint 2 Week 4. I, I spent uh, two videos really going through the, the macro level, the bubble sort level manager, how every, every all the other scripts are the middle managers or listeners, how there's enumeration that of um, all the different states we can be in in the level. We make use of that to keep track of where we are in the state uh, with specific state and level. And I'm going to save uh, covering the middle level managers and covering the micro interactions buttons in the containers for the, the last sprint. This was pretty heavy and, and new topics about coding. And so um, if we keep going, most of you, would, it just it, you won't even remember most of it. So I am going to end this and in how to integrate this scene, since I already have it set up so well to start at the tutorial or start at level one, I'm just going to show you how to integrate it into the prototype for those of you who are following me. And uh, this will conclude sprint two. For those of you who work on your own projects, you know, um, aim to get the tutorial or level one up to a solid state. Uh, for those of you following Bubble Sort, you have the project right here. All you're going to do is do what I'm going to do in this video to tie uh, to uh, get the tutorial in level one going. And then you can just go through yourselves and you build out to WebGL. You get the link up on HIO. You test it. You write out your design document. Then you write out a little section um, and you're deliverable just about your prototype. What did you do? Um, and so that when I use the prototype, um, I'm, I'm aware before I click it, what to expect. So if you're following bubble sort, you explained what you did, you integrated it into the tutorial level one. If you did your own, just explain what it is that you were able to build out. You can do mixture of text and diagrams. You can mix text and visuals. Just give me an explanation of what to expect when I click on the prototype to know what I should be reviewing. So I'm just going to click new scene because there's some changes here that I don't want to save out. So I'm going to go into intro scene. So remember we had title scene, we had intro scene, oh, tutorial scene, which just has the home button on it. So, I'm going to drag in the whole level two. I'm going to bring this content in and remove level the uh, bubble sort level, but don't save. Uh, I don't want to overwrite anything. I'm just using it to like bring content over. Um, so right off the bat, this camera's got to go. Notice as I get rid of that camera, the main camera takes over. Only have, you should really only have one camera in your scene. Uh, but now we have our whole scene and we have the home button. That's great. So we have um, this miscellaneous coming from the WebGL bubble sort. Notice there's a directional light and event system already. So since this directional light is actually the one that's tied into the sun system, the, the core one. I'm just going to delete that one and I'm drag this in. We have two event systems. They both are set to the same defaults. Doesn't matter which one you keep, just you need one to interact to um, handle the events coming from your, your, your 2D user interface. And this canvas here is the home button. I'm just going to drag that into miscellaneous for now. So we're back to just having miscellaneous, the bubble sort and WebGL user. Now for bubble sort level, we want to start the tutorial. That's fine. Um, and I know that, uh, let me just go to my, um, I forgot the dimensions I used for my bubble sort, um, the width by the height and, uh, it's, I remember it's longer. Yeah, it's much longer. Let me, see, let me see what's going on here. It is. Let 
auto detect size for unity. Oh, I did it within my project. I don't have it open right now. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to figure it out. I'm going to go to the last task, which has the most amount of containers on it. And I'm going to test that the camera needs to be wide enough. Um, oh, I already actually had this setting brought in. Oh, that's great. So with the imports, it, one of the things it brought in was the preview. 1,400 by sixteen by 600. Yep. So notice that it's a lot wider. Um, so I'm just going to go through. I'm going to save this right now. I might, I'm going to come back. But now my title scene. Oh, nice. Title scene looks all right. Intro scene looks a little wacky. Uh, because now we have a different resolution. So um, let me just click play, see how I can fix this up a little bit. All right. Hmm, I guess the extra width. Let me try shrinking it back. A little bit. Um, click play. Now, what is it? The text was too large. Everything else looks really, uh, almost good. Yeah, I'm just going to shrink the text a little bit. I'm going to say uh, font size of 16, maybe. Let me see if that just fits in there well. Yeah, that's better. All right, so that'll be 16, and I just have to move this illustration up. And welcome to bubble sort. Might just need. There we go. I'm just putting some new lines underneath it just to push it up. And let me just make sure it plays fine. Nah, I need a few new lines in there. So what did I, I think I entered like four. So I just in my my script. I just have to put that in. There's like four of them. One, two, three, four. All right. Let's see if that runs fine. Yep. Yep. All right, we're good. So I just... Um, edited the intro scene, the size of the text, the position of it, this is position of this image to accommodate a, a longer frame, and it's specifically to handle um, the fact that the bubble sort just is longer. So your own game, you can resize it as you need it, but this all looks good. And so even at the widest, everything's good. All right. Um... All right, those buttons, I'd have to check. It was interesting. Looks like these, oh, I see. So let me just double check. This looks good. That looks good. That looks good. All right, this one just looks like the canvas. Yeah, you see all these like red X's. Um, I think it's just a scaling issue because I, I made it wider. Let's see. Top with height. Um, stretch subtext. Top bottom.
All right. So I do not know why they flipped around, but you can rebuild. It looks like the top and the bottom values just got turned around in this. So I'm using the scene view mixed with the game view to just rebuild these. And whatever, it's like uh, not even spend much time just changing the aspect ratio, just made things a little wonky in the UI. You get used to it. This kind of stuff happens a lot. So just, the, I don't know why the top and bottom just flipped around. So I'll just save that. That looks better. Intro scene isn't having these issues. So that, that all looks good. We'll give it a go again. Great, 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 perfect. So I'm going to jump back to the tutorial scene. Actually, before I do that, I'm changing the default build settings here. So I had to go into build settings, player settings, and here, no resolution, 960 by 600. Now it's actually 1400 by 600 there. Um, and that's width and height, and that's because we're going extra long to accommodate the wideness. So back to, since I did that, I'm just going to save the project because that was some project settings. So bubble sort level, I want to start at the tutorial. Now, if a person plays the tutorial, I'm fine with them going all the way through the tutorial and playing level one. But... If they're halfway through the tutorial and they're like, I get it, I'm, I want to just jump to level one, what they do is they press home and they'll go into level one if they wish to skip the tutorial while they're in the tutorial. Or if they wish to skip the tutorial together, you just go straight to level one. So end result, I'm okay with the tutorial following into level one as it currently is in this tutorial. So... We built the tutorial scene. Let's go to level one and we're going to do the same thing. Bring in bubble sort, pull in the contents of bubble sort, remove the bubble sort scene, but don't save it. Get rid of the additional camera, get rid of the additional light source, event system, drag this stuff into miscellaneous. Now, for level one, the only trick is, since I made this current state publicly accessible as a developer, I can just change it in the inspector, and I'm going to start it right at task one. So I will save this. I'll click play real quick, just to double check. Yes, that is what level one should look like. So I'll test it from the title scene now. Click play. Intro, we're good. Tutorial. Welcome to Bubble Sword Trainer. This is how you play it. Let's go through this lengthy tutorial. But that's okay because I'm going to go to home and I'm going to check out level one. And it sets itself to level one. We can jump back out. Here's the tutorial. Welcome to Bubble Sword Trainer. Great. Jump back out. Go to level one. This is, here's a list of three containers. Start sorting. Awesome. Go home, there's the intro. So now I have all three parts of my tutorial working. Um, if you're following me, you could at least get this just built and then we'll understand the middle managers and the micro managers um, during the next sprint three. And I will leave it to you to go build, build WebGL, go to HIO, just follow the videos from Sprint One, right? So you're posting your design doc. I gave you the headers and then just a section of text and or visuals to explain what your prototype is you built and show me a tested link to your prototype on HIO. Um, and do not worry if you're working on your own, on your own project you will be more leniently graded than the bubble sort people. So even if you get less done than what the bubble sort people do, do not fret. I actually 
would um, encourage those who are able to to build their own project. I will not put you on the same grading scheme as I am on the polls for people because they're just following me. So hurrah for those who um, wish to pursue their own projects and learn, learn, learn. And if indeed everything falls apart, at least you can fall back into the bubble sort project. All right. So at least get, if it's your own project, get something notably done on the tutorial or the level one, I'll be happy. Then you have the rest of the semester to finish your prototype. Uh, and the bubble sort people will be following me and I'll be just diving into at length code of the, all the rest of the level, the middle managers and the, the, the micro interactions for sprint three. All right. And remember all this is due for sprint two anyway, remember in two weeks on that Sunday, and then I'll see how many people have original projects to figure out how much of the feedback should should you do? How many people should you do give feedback to? And how big a part of your grade is the feedback? Now, it'll be in two weeks.